Hi everyone, this is Charles with Time for Wine, featuring our new wines and sharing with you some of my passion because of some of the wines we've discovered. Here at Times for Wine, we just really try to find some things that are very different and very unique, and I hope you will stay with us on this journey uh, as we do this wine series called Charlie's Corner. Uh, today I'm featuring five new wines, mostly from South America. We do have one wine that is from Spain because it's a new wine for us, and we're really excited to have it here. Uh, I want to share with you why we selected these wines and in the classes that we've teached and the fun that we have just sharing some of these things with people has just been fascinating. Today the featuring of five wines, this first one is from the Garzan family. Uh, this is a wine from Uruguay and it is actually the Albareño grape. Now, Albareño is from Spain, it's from the Galicia area and it has just done extremely well in the community of Uruguay. The Spanish wine that I was just telling you about, the Del Camino, is a blend of three different uh, grapes. Big, beautiful, vibrant. As I pour for you a little bit later on, you'll see why we've selected it, because the wines from Spain just continue to be amazing and really delicious. As we venture into Argentina, uh, the Rucamalan winery is a winery that we actually visited several years ago. People are just absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of innovation uh, that's there. A lot of what we call the flying winemakers, uh, those from France uh, like Michel Roulon and Paul Hobbs and some of the other people that have had influence there. But instead of Malbec, I found for us a Petit Verdot. Great wine, wonderful body, just really over delivers. Uh, so something I want to share with you is begin to pour. Then Axel. Uh, Axel is a great winery. Uh, this is the Carmenere grape. So we're venturing back into the Chacuala uh, region of Chile and Carmenere, the grape of fine destiny. Now Chile produces some wonderful wines and it's because of the topography that's there. They have almost the best natural air conditioning system that you could ever imagine because of the back slopes of the Andes, how the current comes through. It's just fascinating. Carmenere is the indigenous grape. It's the grape that's thrived uh, throughout Chile. It's wonderful. When I poured this at our recent teach and taste class, people were amazed because Chilean wines have evolved. They've grown. They've really taken on a different flavor profile and taste. And if you have not found a Carmenere you enjoy, please look at, give us a call, and let's talk about Axel. Last in this lineup is the famous signature wine from Garzon. It's their grape called Tanat of Uruguay. This is the single vineyard. This is the most prestigious. This is the planning of the most prime areas in Uruguay. Garzan has realized what the Tanat has done, and it's just a fantastic wine. Rich, full-bodied, uh, wonderful. As I open it up, um, the aromas and the dark fruits that are there are just fascinating. So I hope you'll join me. Uh, this series uh, will begin and uh, you'll learn a lot more about wines. Take some notes and please share it. At Charlie's Corner, we're always doing the best. If there's a wine you haven't found and you're interested, please give us a call. I'm Charles with Time for Wine. Cheers.